I come back my four four types of encampment. The first was the refuge or the self settled encampment. Uh, the other one I didn't speak yet is the retention center when the people are caught by the police if they are in a certain form illegal they are they are put in a retention center it's nearly a prison it's not like it's not in in penal rights it's not a prison but it, it's a, it's a, a place of administrative right it's a, a, organized by the administrative right and um, retention or detention centers for uh, foreigners. In all the year 2008-2009 in Europe passed in the nearly 300 retention centers that exist in Europe 500,000 people. I don't say in the same time there were some, I say in the year past the, uh, uh, 300,000 people in this retention center. Um, it is very peculiar for me because when I speak with a French or, or Belgian or Italian people who are very active in the defense of uh, foreigners and so on, of human rights, they say, oh, you, can't, you cannot say the same thing about uh, retention center than you say about encampment. There is really no liberty, there is no freedom in the retention center, then you cannot imagine that there is some social life, because this is my point. <coughs> you cannot imagine that there is any social life in the retention center. But, okay, the response is, <laughs> my answer is, yes, but at the contrary, in all this encampment, you have a kind of detention situation, that you can compare it, and in the detention center, there is many mobilization. It is one of the most politicized, but in violent terms, uh, of this kind of situation. And what happened in 2006, 2007, 2008, and 9 in Europe is many uh, uh, under strike and many um, rebellion inside the, the detention center. With very more very much more violent than in uh, refugees camp. Uh, the main, the main um, political uh, demonstration, manifestation in retention center is the, the, the burning. The people put fire. And then the commentary of, of uh, the journalists, oh, it is a desesperate situation, it is a awful situation, miserability, and it, no, it is very political. The people put fire to destroy the, the retention center and to open the, the, the place, you know. Then there is some political life, uh, organization, life, and there is connection from the people who are inside the retention center with people who are outside and who manifest some form of solidarity. The main, the main instrument of um, propaganda of the mobilization inside the retention center this last year, and mainly for the when they put fire, was the mobile phone, you know, and uh, transmitting inf information from inside to outside the, the retention center. Encampment, informal encampment retention center in the first, in the first this internal displaced person and then finally the Rolls Royce as we say no the camps which is the refugee camp. We have to say that in the world refugees camp is the most um, um, established situation. Um, this is a transit tent it is a tent in a transit center, which was uh, in this place. What you see is on the on the ground of the photo. <coughs> it is a part of the old refugee camp, which has been changed, but the photo is not so good. We don't see it very well. And this 
this uh, design is the urbanist imagination of uh, what, uh, some people who wanted to organize a transit center like a refugee, a refugee camp and to make it nice, to make it something nice. And, um, and you see there is, this, these are housing with something like a public space in the middle. And, uh, well, this was a, a tentative, it didn't, the camp was transformed after this, and these are individual familial tents, and after they put uh, collective tents. In this kind of tent you can put uh, up to 100 persons in the, in the same. This is not in the um, this is in Guinea. Oh yeah, this is this photo is better. You see in the in the down in the first plan, you see the old part of the camp. This is Quang Camp Camp in Guinea, and you see that the camp uh, more or less in trans is transforming because there are kind of uh, path or streets. There are these things with the white roof are. Uh, installation of uh, humanitarian organization, but you see also things which are made of mud and branch. That means that people have transformed the place. And in the in the, in the, the other part of the photo, you see the new installation, um, which was made like a called so-called Zone 12 of the refugee camp. <coughs> this was a governmental or non-governmental uh, No, non-governmental. No, no, sorry, an NGO that has I Yes. The very polemical point, and it's funny, but it's a, a parenthesis, uh, is this is the only camp in the life of MSF that was built by MSF. Because MSF is an NGO who say that uh, MSF doesn't build a camp, but actuates inside the camp of the UNHCR. Then one time in 2002, one guy from MSF, when he saw that there was a new, um, a new arrival of people from Liberia in, in 2002, when there was in the second part of the war, there is there's been really many um, people fleeing from uh, Liberia, and then there was a provision, you know, this kind of now we can make the previous uh, thing. And then this was the prevision of the arrival of uh, thousands of people. And then the guy who was, one guy in, in the MSF in Guinea, decided to make this kind of urbanism you know, of, the, the, of the place with uh, plastic sheet uh, housing. And, um, well, this became a very polemical point in MSF. And, and, um, uh, the, the, the government, the gestion, the, 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 the managing management of this camp uh, was immediately given to UNRCR and, and uh, didn't uh, continue with MSF. But there has been this polemic point which is very, very significant, I think. Then you see the pa part of the camp, other parts of the camp, and the same uh, installation. In a region which is a very desertic, uh, it's called the Guinea Forestier, Forest Guinea, and mm, a big part of the, the major part of the camps in Guinea were in this region where there is nobody, nothing, and the Liberian and Sierra Leonean people who were fleeing from uh, their country during the 15 years of the war in uh, 89 to 2004, more or less, um, generally they wanted to go to the city, they wanted to go to Conakry, the capital of, uh, of uh, Guinea. And there, there are some uh, neighborhoods, there is a so-called Sierra Leonean neighborhood, Liberian neighborhood. And they wanted more to go there, but all the organization of the organization since they arrived at the border 
was to take them in camp, transit camp, and from transit camp to to um, refugee camp, and uh, etc. And the one who uh, went away from this uh, dispositive, from this game, and wanted to go to, to Conakry, um, were in conflict with the UNHCR, who didn't recognize them as refugee, and, and uh, there's been many, many um, riots of uh, refugees in Conakry against UNHCR to get recognized without being obliged to go to, to, the, to the camp. Because the, the policy was so when there is a refugee, he must be in camp. If he's not in camp, he's not refugee, and then he's illegal in a country. This is a part, I don't, I don't have a photo, it's very significant of the place which is known now as the biggest camp in, in the world, uh, which is the camps of Dadaab in Kenya. But this uh, photo, unfortunately, uh, it's a bit difficult to have a kind of photo. But this is significant of um, the transformation of this camp. It's a camp which was built in 1991 with the flowing of Somalian people from Somalia. And uh, after the arrival in '94 from a uh, refugee from Sudan, mm -hmm. but mainly mm -hmm. it, they are Somali people, and they received the material of uh, NGOs from UNHCR, and they went to take some branches of wood and they built their shelter like huts. For some people, it was this kind, from people from rural areas, it was this kind of huts. And others, which I didn't have photos, it was um, houses made of mud and um, rectangular uh, houses. Let's say something more urban kind uh, housing. Nowadays, in this camp of Dadaab, we don't see it exactly, but in this kind, mainly there are four camps together, there are 400,000 people in, in this place.